Yamaka Village, where News 3's Devin DeGretti has been following this developing story for us tonight. Police are still out here in Yamakra Village trying to figure out what happened in this shooting. There's also a little marsh behind where we are, and that is almost completely flooded. Now, once that rises up, that's going to spill over to the parking lot, and then the parking lot will be completely, it's just going to be basically a pond, a lake of water covering over here. Kevin Reen owned this Aboriginal Australia art store right here on Broughton Street. And as you can see here, flowers and candles have been laid out in his honor. Ben and Tina, like you said, there are several officers here investigating this shooting at Savannah High. Right here, you can see where forensic officers have laid out markers. As you can see, I'm decked out in green along with the crowd. But we just kind of want to give you a couple updates of things that are going on down here. So I'm going to flip this for you so you can get a better look. I mean, look, it's just a beautiful sea of green right there. I mean, it's so many different costumes. A bunch of people are just having a good time. We reached out to one of WSAV's experts asking the same question White did. Is that normal? Are officers trained to do that? Some officers will do it. Um, some who might be, you know, really great tactically can, can do that within milliseconds. Mayor Eddie DeLoach began with his original statement he made yesterday. A motion was on the floor and the discussion was open. Alderman Tony Thomas did issue his apology to the reporter, but that's not where it ended. To the young lady, I do apologize. The apology about the vulgar language Thomas used towards a reporter was made before his colleagues voted to censure him. But Thomas didn't stop there. He made jabs at fellow council members. First, he talked about St. Patrick's Day when he was caught on camera, passed out. Drinking with me after that parade were two of the members that are sitting up here on this council, Julian Miller and Brian Foster. It was never in the Hilton. That is totally fabricated. The fact that I had a drink with you, yet you don't even know how you got into the Hilton that day. I took you to the Hilton to get you off the street because I was embarrassed to see, be seen out there with you. He then brought up an alleged scandal about Alderwoman Carol Bell involving controversy over a scholarship at Shaw University. If someone called your house a reporter for a reply and you hung up on them or a female hung up on them. He then took a swing at the mayor. You are on tape saying that you are not going to follow the city charter. You've already demonstrated that with these meetings lack of tra uh, true transparency. Thomas even accused the mayor of conspiring against him because of the incident with animal control and the reporter over the weekend. If you knew about this on Saturday, I want to know who, who, who you were informed by. Doesn't matter. It does. It does. No, that's not the issue it here. It, it shows that you're being conspiratorial. Okay. All right. Thomas spoke about what he thought of the meeting and said... Doesn't mean a thing. Do you think your constituents will support you after this, after all the drama, and yeah. after the yeah. uh, set patterns that you have? Yeah, my set patterns, you know, I, um, I like it that some of you consider yourselves to be psychology majors that have uh, that can make determinations like that. Um, I think you need to, uh, to really go and, and, and find a, a professional that can come in and analyze something like that and say, here is the real pattern and stuff. I was putting what the mayor said. This is an obvious pattern of behavior that he will go forward, be completely rude and obnoxious. The mayor's a landscaper. The mayor cuts grass for a living. I mean, I don't think he has any kind of uh, ability to discuss what a set pattern is unless he's talking about lawn care. I'm standing in Daffin Park, and since I'm an avid Snapchat user, everybody knows it. From using the popular puppy filter to taking a selfie with a friend. There are many ways to share your memories on Snapchat, but as always, you want to make sure you're sharing safely. You want to make sure that your child or young person is protected, and often they don't understand the implications of allowing everything about themselves to be known to the general public. Here's how the app works. Right now I'm in Daffin Park, so once I go into the Snapchat app, pinch my fingers together on the screen, and zoom in, you can see my exact location and where my friends are. Where your home is, where you might work, where you go to school, and these applications and the, these applets 
allow people to know that. You can limit which friends see your location, but if you don't know, then everyone on your friends list can see where you are. Even though there are perks to this new feature, like being able to look at what's going on around the world, it also makes the user vulnerable. They don't know these 2,000 people that they have befriended on uh, any social applications. Pedophiles are known to troll social media sites, particularly, um, and I certainly don't want to, that to be the only um, consideration. There is a way to turn off your location. Just go to settings in the top right hand corner and select ghost mode. Only you will be able to see where you are and it will take you off the grid. Parents have to be aware of the changes in the applications that their, their children and, and young teens are using and, and have ongoing discussions about what is acceptable and what's not acceptable and what could be dangerous for their, their child. Now this new map feature only works on Snapchat if your app is up to date. And don't forget, if your Snap name is on other sites like Facebook, Bumble, or Tinder, you may want to be cautious of who's following you. I'm Devin Negretti reporting live in Savannah. I'm Devin Negretti reporting live at Savannah High. I'm Devin Negretti reporting live in Garden City, WSAV News 3.